this is the lesson for chapter five, lesson four. Chapter five is dealt with inequalities. Um, we've learned some new axioms and postulates in the first lesson. We've also learned the exterior angle theorem that says an exterior angle is greater than either remote interior angle. And now today's lesson deals with the lengths of the sides of a triangle. So if I labeled the sides of a triangle, I can say that the, um, any two sides, I could pick any two sides and add them together, and the sum of the lengths of those two sides would always be greater than the third side, okay? Look at on theorem 15 on page 201. It says the sum of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side. And let's walk through the proof. If we have triangle A, B, C, A, B, C, and it is given that A, B, C is a triangle, that would be given. <clears throat> and I wanted to prove that A, B plus B, C, A, B plus B, C, those, the sum of those two sides is greater than the length of A, C. I would begin with my given, right? Then I could choose a point, and that would be D. So D would be somewhere out here, and I would then draw another triangle, okay? And if you can choose D, we can choose D because the, the um, uh, ruler postulate, right? We can actually we can choose D beyond beyond um, B such that uh, BD equals BC. And we can do that because we know by the ruler postulate. If I want that line to equal that line, that's the ruler postulate. That's one of your statements. That's statement three. Um, statement two says we can draw AB, which is already drawn. And we can do that because two points determine a line. All right, now it says draw CD, and we can do that as well because two points determine a line. Now look at number five. We've drawn it such that those lines are equal. And now if we label the angles one, two, and three, um, because those two sides are equal, I can say that angle um, one equals angle two because it's an isosceles triangle. And when two sides are equal, the angles opposite them are equal. That's number five. Number six, I can say that ACD, that entire angle ACD, is the sum of angles three plus angle two. That's betweenness of rays. And then I could say by substitution that, um, or the whole greater than the part, I can say that ACD, angle ACD has to be greater than any part, and we put two. ACD, the whole, is greater than the part, and that's that reason. Through substitution, because two equals one, I can then come down and say that angle ACD is greater than angle one, and that's substitution. And then in step nine it says, so in this triangle ACD, if I drew this triangle ACD, or just that, that yeah, that AD, that line is greater than AC. So if I drew AD, number nine says, that in triangle ACD, that line AD, AD is greater than AC. So AD would be greater than AC. And that's because of the inequality. We said ACD, ACD is greater than angle one. And, um, Actually, angle B should be right here. B is right here, right? Not there. 
So this is actually angle one. Because we said ACD is greater than angle one, um, that's, al that's almost like substitution, but it's the inequality one. So when it says the two angles, two angles opposite are unequal, then the sides opposite them are unequal in the same order. Then look at 10. We have AB plus BD, AB plus BD. Let me erase this other part of it because I, I drew a bad triangle. AB plus BD equals AD. That is the betweenness of points. And number 11 says AB plus BD is greater than AC. And that would be substitution from step 9. And um, 12 says AB plus BC is greater than AC. And that again is substitution. And thus, they have proven it. So walk through that proof. But just know that the whole lesson is about... Um, inequality of the sides of triangles, that I can choose any two sides, and the sum of those two sides, the length of them is always greater than the third side. And we'll work, over, we'll work some of these problems in class tomorrow.